Moving on, and Australia's education system is in the spotlight this morning with a concerning report from the Grattan Institute exposing the startling number of children unable to do basic maths. David, a third of students failing to meet some really basic standards. Um, I mean, I know you, you've been out of government for more than a term, but this isn't just Labor's fault. No, this is all our fault and I think it's come from a crowded curriculum. We're asking teachers to crowd so much into a day when we've got to get back mm -hmm. to basics, particularly in those early years and those informative years where we're developing the basics. And my father was a primary school teacher uh, and in those days, many moons ago, it was very much about getting back to the basics of reading, writing and arithmetic. And I think if we, we give the teachers the tools they need and not overcrowd them and let them to have more uh, more one-on-one -on -one care and education uh, for, for instead of forcing them into more broader education pieces, I think we're going to get better results. And I think this is an opportunity for us to understand and to pivot and I think that's going to take courage. We'll be supportive of the government if they're prepared to pivot, but I think it's about uh, unclogging that curriculum and giving those teachers the time and the tools they need to be able to do their job. Look, they have so much on their plate as well, <laughs> our school teachers. Amanda, do you also think it comes down to parents? As parents, should we be also hammering home some of these basic math skills as well? Yes, but parents used to have time to do that. And yeah. I think that's what the shift is here as well. So teachers are burdened with all this extra work that they have to do. And then you could come home and then mum and dad could sit down mm. at the kitchen table and go through so it. But true. guess what? They're both working now trying to survive. So the pressure is now on the parents who don't have the time to do it. And who's missing out here? The child child, right? So it'd be good to have, you know, takes a village approach. It'd be good that if everyone got together and said, how can we solve this yeah. together? It certainly does take a village. And